Alright, let's go on in the engine room. We've got a 108 foot versal press. And we've had a failed drive coupling in a BW255 ZF transmission. The first thing that had to be done, well, the exhaust system had to be removed. You can see in the other engine, the exhaust system consisted of. It's fairly large. It was all done before I got here. Boat's powered by a pair of 16V92 D deck Detroit diesels, 1400 horsepower at 2300 RPM. Basically, two 8V92, <laughs> two 8 cylinder engine blocks bolted together, so to speak. Okay, there, each engine, you've got a kilo pack generator. I don't know the kilowatt output of it. What we had to do to replace the coupling between the engine and transmission is to raise the rear of the engine. We've had to uncouple the propeller shaft, which I'm pointing at down here. All the bolts are pretty seized up with rust. Had to unbolt all these mounts on the side. It's a fiberglass bolt. What we've had to do to raise the engine is build sort of like a train truss and a whip to spread the load. We do have a spinner running around the tuner underneath the middle there. We built up this little train truss of lumber. I'm going to walk around the front of the engine here. So we're looking at all the pumps for the air conditioning system down there. That's part of the stabilizer system that's got that red bucket on it, but from what I understand, one of the fins has ripped off the stabilizer, so they don't work. There's some old uh, rusty bilge piping that's been cut out. Hopefully they've got some alternative system of pumping out the bilges. And to unbolt these front feet, those smaller bolts were put through there to keep the engine from sliding back as it went up. You can see a little better on this side, my cribbing of wood blocks. A jack, and it's a little dark in the video. We got the engine jacked up. Now to separate the transmission, what I've done, go down here to St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, so it's a little hard to get parts and stuff, but managed to find a local that had this aluminum I-beam. Got this I-beam blocked and strapped to the top of the aft bowler on this end. And on that end there's a shelf that holds some water pumps for the fresh water system for the showers and whatnot. And we braced the other end of this beam up on this shelf and then ran another piece of lumber to the top of that generator. Anyway, we've had to pile all the stuff from this engine on top of the other engine. Now, let's walk around to the other side here. The bottle is part of the automatic fire suppression system. Anyway, here's the beam. Basically got it strapped around the engine so this end won't move. We're going to put a trolley, a little rolling trolley, which I have right here, go on that beam. And we're going to get a little sling with the chain pull. Transmission weighs about 800 pounds. We're going to sling the transmission back, and then we'll be able to change the coupling. All right, this is kind of part two on this video. We've uh, removed the side plates from the transmission, and we've got the jacks holding the back of the engine up. You can get a little better view of what we had to do to brace up across the bottom of the fiberglass hull. Uh, transmission weighs, uh, I believe, 800 to 1,000 pounds. It's going to be lifted with this rig. We've got the beam, half of it on the engine, half of it back here on this shelf that attaches to a bulkhead. And you see down here, that is braced against the top of the generator. A little bit of a pause. We've got a one-ton chain hoist, which theoretically is 2,000 pounds. But what we don't like about it is it's got this tiny little less than a quarter inch screw at the bottom of it. Um, the captain is out right now picking up a larger a larger screw for it. This kind of gives you detail of the exhaust system on this boat. You can see that's the exhaust discharge underwater. And right there you'll see a valve. That discharges exhaust out the side when the engine's running at low speeds and idling. Here's you see the size of the exhaust outlet. Uh -huh, there's a little light down there. You can see the beautiful waters of the Caribbean.
anyway. <clears throat> I get some more shots of this thing when it's hanging in the air. This is Scott, our engineer. Say hi, Scott. <laughs> Now we've installed the new coupling, just bolted it up on the hub, still got one bolt of torque. Torque bolts to 175 newton meters. Circular point.